Hello number ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking and oftentimes the difference between lamella armor and scale armor can be confusing so hopefully at the end of this video you will be able to 100% spot the difference and recognize one from the other. So let's get to it. There are three main differences that can help us recognize one from the other. In both cases we're usually talking about a armor that is made of a series of small plates that in the case of scale armor are obviously called scales and in the case of lamella armor are usually referred to as lamellae. So the first difference between the two is the way they are arranged and also the way they lap. In the case of scale armor, we can see that the scales overlap downward. In the case of lamella armor, lamellae will lap upward. So it's an opposite direction. So in other words, to recognize one from the other, you need to look at the way they overlap. The second distinction is the fact that scale armor is almost universally fastened, sewn or riveted onto a separate backing. Now this backing could be made of fabric, it could be made of leather or in the case of Lorica Plumata of the Romans, it will be made of actual mail. Now regardless of what the backing is, scale armor always has its scales attached to a backing, most commonly being leather. True lamella instead does not require any backing because of the way the lamellae are laced together. Generally speaking, now there is huge amount of variation between Persian lamella, Chinese lamella, Japanese lamella, Mongolian lamella, European lamella, but generally speaking, the lamella will be sewn together, organized in horizontal rows, and then these rows will be laced and attached to the subsequent level. Now again, the way these suits would open, whether it's front opening, when it's back opening, when it's side opening, this depends on what culture we are looking at. But in all cultures that used lamella, the lamella would only be laced onto each other. Now you can wear a garment uh, garment underneath, that's something they did in China for example, and I will talk more about this in a dedicated video that I'm preparing, which will probably be the next video. But the lamella would not be fastened, nor sewn, nor riveted to anything you wear underneath them. The third difference is imbrication. So scale armor is always imbricated. Lamella tends not to be. So let's explain a little more in detail what I mean with the word imbricated because it can be a little confusing. When you look at scale armor you have to imagine it as a sort of armor that is resemblant and very similar to fish scales or reptile scales and when you hear or see or read the word imbricated what it's basically telling you is that this kind of armor is arranged in a similar way to shingles so roof tiles. Now when you look at these examples you can see the generally speaking roof tiles or scales of reptiles tend to not only overlap downward, as we said in the first point of this video, but each scale covers a big chunk of the scale underneath it. With lamella instead, there still will be overlapping, but the overlapping section, it's only the top of each small plate, which overlaps with the bottom of the next row. So the overlapping is present, but it is not imbricated. Now, is there an actual difference between the materials used for scale and the materials used for lamella? Not really. All sorts of materials were used for both kinds of armor throughout history. Leather was used for both, copper was used for both, so was bronze, so was iron, so was steel. It is also possible that horns and bones were used for both types as well. Okay, so pretty much that sums up the difference between these two kinds of armor. Now, if you're interested in the actual history behind scalar armor and lamella, then I really suggest you to stay tuned on the Metatron channel because I have been preparing a very detailed video, uh, which is going to be a VS video. As you know, I've got the VS series on this channel and it's going to be a VS uh, video which compares the armor in China with the armor in Japan going all the way from prehistorical times or to when to the 19th century, 18th century, 19th century. So um, it's going to be very in detail and I will explain how lamella was used in both cultures and how scale was used in both cultures. So if this is a topic that you're interested in, make sure to click the notification bell as to never miss any of the uploads that I publish on this video. Also, I'd like to know which kind of armor is your favorite. Do you prefer lamella armor or do you prefer scale armor? Please let me know in the comments below. All right, number ones. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up. And if you're still not yet a member of this community, become a noble one. Subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.